Welcome back to another Pokemon Falling Friday, where every single Friday morning I post a video going through last week's sales of sealed Pokemon products and Pokemon cards that are currently going down in price. But before we get started, we got to thank today's video sponsor, and that is Arizona TCG. If you guys have a couple graded cards or a ton of graded cards you're looking to sell, or if you're in the market to buy some graded cards, if you're a little worried about fake slabs or anything like that, Arizona TCG is perfect for you. They specialize in graded cards. If you're interested in selling, all you have to do is send them your graded cards. That's it. They're going to handle everything else. They're going to take professional scans of your cards. Then they're going to post on their massive weekly eBay auctions. But you do have full control too. You can track your collection. You can even change it to buy it now. And the best part about all this is they charge almost the exact same amount as if you started your own eBay store. But this eBay store already has 100% positive feedback with over 10,000 cards sold. You will definitely get some eyes on your cards. So definitely check them out. The link is in the description. But all right, let's get to it. Starting off with some Sword and Shield booster boxes. Not a ton going down. Aster Radiance still. I mean, it was 180. Someone got one at 172 and 167. So not a terrible sale. 176, 160, 159, 160. Decent amount here. Next, we got Evolving Skies. Got a couple cheap sales here. Definitely coming down a little bit. Last sold 652. 609, 669, 669. Even the loose packs is coming down. Remember, the loose packs was just 500 every time. We got 465 here, 465 here, says unweighed. 609, 609, um, 680. So prices are definitely all over the place. A couple 449s, 467 for loose packs. So Evolving Skies is definitely coming down in price. And we got one more, just battle styles, of course. You know, it was 137 not too long ago. Someone got two of them at 118 bucks. That is pretty cheap. And then we got one at 115. So that 115 is the cheapest recently. Not bad. 151 booster bundle, finally coming down. That thing was just about 50 bucks. Someone got one at 36.79. I mean, even if that doesn't have shipping, that's still, you know, about $10 cheaper than it was. Another one here for $36.79. Uh, Japanese 151 booster, 10 sealed packs for $46.99. I don't think I would have done that. But then before that, someone did get four at $49. Another one at $39, $39, $39. So you can definitely find this thing a little cheaper than $50. Bucks. Next, we got the 151 booster bundle display. Now, I'm really watching 151 because we're getting so many, you know, reprint rumors and everything like that. It was 483, last sold $449, and then before that it was 463, 464, 464, 464, 479, 479. So it's definitely coming down in price a little bit, and that 449 is pretty cheap. Next, we got the Celebrations UPC still just coming down. I mean, it was 370 bucks three months ago. Now it's $333, another $339, $339. We'll check the one year on this one. Was up to $404, so hopefully gets down to 300 bucks. We got a 310 here and a 315, another 315. That's very, very cheap, so prices are definitely kind of fluctuating. Beautiful box. I think it's one of the best modern boxes we've ever gotten. Next, the Cosmic Eclipse ETB. Just down a little bit, but I've been watching these like a hawk because I want to get a few more. So any movement on this box is good for me. It was 415 bucks. Last sold 394, 397, 405. And before that, it was 439. Decent sales, though, I mean, for the last few weeks. Next, Paldean Fates Pokemon Center ETB. It was 78 bucks. That sold 71, 71, 69. I did see one on eBay for 64.99 with free shipping. That's why I added it because I'd just seen that on eBay. All right, getting to some cards. The EV from Twilight Masquerade. I know a lot of people want this card. It was $69 literally in the middle of July. Now we got a sale at 42, 71. Another one at 42, 22. I'm guessing that's Japanese. Yep, 53, 53, 66. 51 for a lightly played. So that 42 and that other 42 for near mint is definitely really cheap. I just don't understand why someone would pay $71 when, I mean, there's EVs all over the place for 50 bucks. 
that just proves people are trying to hype this stuff up. It's wild. Because, I mean, there's not even any pictures. So it's not like because it was perfect condition. All right, next we got the Infernape. One of my favorite illustration rares. I just love how different it is than the others. Plus, it's a starter Pokemon. You really cannot go wrong. So I did get up to $11.52. Last sold $8.84. So we got two at $7.85. And I know that's only down, you know, three something dollars. But when we're talking about cards that are 10, 11 bucks, you know, it's like a 30% decrease. So some people don't realize that. Next, we got Raging Bolt EX. It was $104.68. In the middle of May, until towards the end of May. Last sold 78, 79, 74. I have a feeling this card might get in the 60s. 73. We got a 90, an 80, a 74. There's a 70. So no 60s yet. That 70 is the cheapest, but I have a feeling it's gonna be like 68, 69 bucks. Next, the Magic Arp finally coming down in price. Thank goodness. Was $146. Now near mints around 115. We had a lightly played at 87. All these are Japanese in the 30s. We had a 115, 138. No pictures, of course. 120, 115. Lightly played for 94. Another near mint for 120. So definitely getting cheaper. We got a $107 near mint. We got an $83 near mint. All right, next we got the gold Snorlax. One of the best gold sword and shield cards that we got. One of the most expensive, too. I mean, it's worth more than the Palkia and the Dialga from Crown Zenith. Was well, $75, bucks, last sold $60, and then again, someone got one for $82. And then $60 before that, $64, $39 before that, $65, $68, $65. $65. So definitely getting a little bit cheaper. Love to see that card in the 50s. I don't think a ton of people really want to spend over $50 for this card. All right, next, we got the Dragon IV, one of my favorite alternate arts, one of my favorite Pokemon. It's just perfection. It's coming down a lot. So it was $190 in the beginning of June. Now it's $130. But remember, you know, this happens a ton. All these cards shot way up so fast. Kind of just a little price correction. Plus it's summer and stuff like that. So not a huge deal, so you don't have to panic. Last sold 130, 130, 129, 128, 121, 130, 122, 132, 136. So about three of them at 136. And I'm guessing these are Japanese. Oh, that's a Chinese for 44. That's with a picture for 135 bucks. Let's see, another Chinese $45 card. Another Chinese card. It's nice to see the Chinese cards finally getting some love. I know they're kind of killing it over there. The Charizard V also dropping a ton. It was almost $200. This is still one of my favorite Sword and Shield alternate arts. I think this is the most slept on Sword and Shield alternate art. We're literally getting Charizard and he's fighting a Venusaur. Like mid-battle. This is a tag team, but, you know, they're not working together. This is like a versus card. In my opinion, which is way cooler. Like, the only reason this card... Is not $300, it's just because of the big Charizard hate. And a lot of these big pokey tubers, they make you feel like you gotta hate Charizard. You don't have to hate Charizard. If you like Charizard, that's totally awesome. I love Charizard. Not my absolute favorite Pokemon, but I do love Charizard. I've been chasing Charizard cards my whole life. Can't just get rid of that. So, totally fine. Let's see if we can find the cheapest sale here. So it was, like I said, 200 bucks. We got a 127, a 126, is this Chinese? So the Chinese Charizard card is only $36. That's not bad. That's really not bad. Uh, the Chinese, I need to see some of these Chinese alternate arts in person. Have not seen too many yet in person. All right, next we got the Pikachu VMAX trainer gallery card. It was $50 and now down 27% at $35, $35 and $31. Uh, the 31 is probably the cheapest. 31.25. Beautiful card. I think this is one of the best trainer gallery cards. I love this Pikachu. Next, we're going to hop to Fanatics. We got some pretty low sales here on some PSA modern cards. We got the Umbreon VMAX, $1,110. In a 10. And this is on Fanatics, or PWCC is what they used to be called, but these auctions pretty much get the most eyes on them possible, so... This isn't just a fluke. 
Yeah, 1100 bucks for the PSA 10. That is definitely a very, very cheap sale. And again, we got another one. The Gengar VMAX in the PSA 10 sold for $528. I mean, the average price on this card on the market right now is like 600 something bucks. So definitely getting cheaper. Again, the Rayquaza VMAX PSA 10, $516, almost below 500 bucks. Like I said, on Fanatics too. Like so many eyes see this auction. Only had 19 bids. And the Blaziken VMAX, almost below $400 in a PSA 10. This card grew on me so much the more I've looked at it the last few months. The colors are beautiful. Every time I go to a card show or any card store and I see one, it just pops out to me now. I do love this card. Yeah, $408. Super, super wild. All very, very cheap sales. All right, next, we are hopping to eBay. We're going to check out some Shrouded Fable special illustration rare prices. Now, this is on eBay with the sold listings. So the Greninja, that's the promo, averaging around 20 bucks. But we got the Pheasantipity, 100 bucks with the shipping. Monkey Dory, $65 plus $4 in shipping. The Okie Dogi, about 60 bucks. Pheasantipity, 100. The Kingdra with the two other promos, about 20 bucks. The Monkey Dory for 40. Um, Greninja, 20. 17.50 for the Greninja. Another Pheasantipity for 95. And we got the Cassiopeia here for $200 or best offer. Not very many of this card on the market at all. Like I have not seen very many for sale or sold listings so someone paid 50 bucks for the greninja on pre-sale wow i hope that's doesn't say it's for the box that's super rough you guys just calm down these cars are going to be here for a while we have so many good sets coming up soon this set's just going to be everywhere for a long time i don't think it's going to go super crazy plus in my opinion it's definitely one of the worst scarlet and violet sets we've gotten not saying it's a bad set overall. I don't think any Scarlet and Violet set is an actual bad set. But this set is pretty lackluster. I do like these special illustration rares more than the Ogre Pond special illustration rares. I will admit that. But barely. They're a little too dark in my opinion. But yeah, looks like Greninja here. 17 bucks. So the Pheasantipity. Oh, here we go. The Petran. That's what I've been looking for. $100. So it looks like the Petrant and the Pheasantipity are the two most expensive Pokemon. And then the Cassiopeia is the most expensive Pokemon card in the whole set, I guess. These prices will all change. But here's the thing. I have a feeling the same exact thing is going to happen with this set that happened with the last two sets. So all these prices are going to come down. And then somebody's going to stock up on a bunch of these cards and then just jack the price up. It's going to be the same thing. And they're going to keep doing that until people start giving into the hype and they're like oh my god i need this cassiopeia card it's going up it's going so fast like i gotta get it i have a feeling it's gonna happen but hopefully it doesn't hopefully these cards actually come down in price and are affordable for everybody especially with all these new sets coming up we got to start saving all right hopping to pokey data checking some japanese booster boxes now technically these are starting to come up in price just a few dollars but i wanted to show you know how expensive these boxes were so this is v star universe was $120 in July of 2023. So a year ago, 120 bucks. Now it is $65. And I just got confirmation that I can get quite a few of these boxes at around $58. So, I mean, if you can get the hookup, you can definitely get this box cheap. I love V-Star Universe. It's an awesome set. Same with 151. I mean, look at this, $215. December of 2023, and now 68 bucks. Looks like the low here on Pokedata was $65, but we all know we were getting boxes for 50, 55 bucks, even a little cheaper for some people. And again, you know, I got that same hookup where I can get these a little below $60 a box still, which is a solid, solid price. All right, still on Pokedata, we're checking a few new cards from the new Japanese set Stellar Miracle. Now, I really like this Teropagus. Again, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I'm actually a pretty big fan of this card. It is the second most expensive card. So the Lacey is the most expensive at $128. Now, again, this happens a ton for Japanese sets where the 
you know, the trainer or the waifu card is the most expensive card on the set. So, I mean, it looks like we had sales at 146, now 128. Got to check the Tropicus here. But for real, I'm excited to see this card in person. I like the DLC a ton. This was 120. Got down to 68 and now 86 bucks. But I'm very curious, you know, to see this card in person with the rainbow border. That's what I'm very, very curious about. I think this card will be absolutely beautiful. And I like the Pokemon. I know some people don't, but... All right, let's check a couple more for this set. What else? We'll check the Hydrapple EX. Was 70 bucks. Now 30 bucks. That's why you never buy right away. Uh, the gold card, $23. Of Terrapagus. Otherwise, there's really not a ton in the set. I will admit, though, the Lapras and Cinderace do look very good with the crowns, especially with the Rainbow Borders. I think the Rainbow Borders is helping those cards out so much. I really, really do. The Zerara is a pretty sweet card here. Seven bucks? Well, 17. Yeah, right around eight bucks. So not a ton of value in the Stellar Miracle set. But all right, that was today's Pokemon Falling Friday. If you guys do see anything moving up or down in the market, please let me know. It helps out so much. And if you guys could do me a massive favor and hop over to Instagram and please give me a follow there, I would really, really appreciate that. Just know I post something new every single day, whether it's from my personal collection or Pokemon news of cards or sets being revealed. And if you guys want to support more, you can hop over to my membership. It's only 99 cents a month. And two, you can check out my eBay store. But otherwise, I want you guys to have a great day. And if you want to watch my newest throwback Thursday where I kind of switched it up a little bit and we go over unlimited base set and shadowless base set and then we check auctions that are $1,000 or less, click this video here. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.